Hi, I'm Lauren Fuller, Associate Territory Manager for Southwest Minnesota. And I'm Abby Winnegar, Associate Territory Manager in Southeast Minnesota. So Abby and I have been learning a lot about Granular Insights, a new offering brought to Granular and Corteva, and we wanted to highlight some of our favorite things about the new program. So what you'll see here is Granular Insights when you first log in, and it's nice and easy to scroll through all of your field lists. The nice thing about Granular Insights is how much information is at your fingertips and how easy it is to look at different things. So let's take a look at what my 2017 corn yield looked like. And you can see here, nice, easy visuals to see the range of yield across the field. And then over here on the left-hand side, there's some more in-depth information outside of just the imagery that tells you a little bit more about your yield. Even better is how you can compare two different levels of information in the same screen. So over here we have got our yield. And then on the right hand side, we can take a look at and see maybe how the seeding rate across the field impacted yield. As you can see here, like different spots of the field have different seeding rates and it does change your yield across the field. And so next we're going to move into the summary tab up here in the upper left hand corner. So when you get into that summary tab, you can look at a bunch of different layers and filters of all the different fields on your farm. So here you can see that we are comparing 2017 corn yield by field. And so something that is really neat within the Granular Insights tool is how you can edit the data right in there. So we're just going to click, if we wanted to click and edit this data for this field, we'll click edit. And then on the left hand side, you can see that you can click on the as planted data. And here you can edit that as planted data right in here. So we'll click edit and edit that if it needs to be, um, if that needs to be completed. And then we can also edit the harvest data right in here. And if we do change that, then we would click save field and that edit would then be complete and uploaded right to Granular Insights. So super easy to edit that data right there in a great tool um, at, at your fingertips. So another thing we wanna highlight is changing seed cost prices within Granular Insights. So here you can see that the average seed price for this farm was $263. That might not be the same from farm to farm. So something great here is that you can click in the blue, enter your own prices. And for each hybrid here, you can enter a different price and it will be uploaded again right to Granular Insights. One last thing that I want to highlight is changing the crop price. So there may be a different crop price for different operations. So again, you can edit that in the blue, enter your own price. We can click on that, type that price right there, update. So once you change that crop price, then the summary below will be re reflected on that crop price that you changed it to. The other really cool thing about that is if you just wanted to leave it at whatever the futures price was, that updates like what, two times a day. Yep. And so that way you can see real time markets. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing that's really easy about Granular Insights is getting your as planted and harvest information into the software. So really simple, we can upload your um, monitor information from a USB directly into Granular Insights. And you can do that here through file upload. Real simple, doesn't take that long at all. The other thing that's really cool is Granular, Corteva, and John Deere have created a partnership where we can link your John Deere Ops Center account to Granular Insights so that that information can travel seamlessly back and forth. So if you're running a machine, you have that JD Connect, or even if you don't and you just manually put in your monitor information into the Ops Center, you can have all of that transfer into Granular Insight with no extra effort. And you can do that in this data tab at the bottom by clicking on the John Deere Op Center, and it'll take you through the login process for that. So Abby and I barely scratched the surface here on what Granular Insights has to offer. And there is constantly new information and analyses going to put into this tool. We just wanted to show you some of the things that we like most mm -hmm. about it. And we would love to hear from you about what you like about Granular Insights.